What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back for another vlog. In today's video, we are going to be talking about work-life balance. Uh, specifically, you know, in my situation of being a seven-figure entrepreneur, um, you know, what it looks like, how I've been able to balance it out the last few years, you know, especially in the beginning, uh, now being in here four years in entrepreneurship. Um, you know, I'm just gonna give you the real and raw, transparent look into my life. And you guys already know me if you watch my videos. I don't, I don't leave any secret out. I, I'm always real around with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Um, but first, if you would, please give your boy a like. Hit that like button down below uh, before we get started here because uh, today's gonna be a good one. So we're just gonna hop right into it. Uh, this is a question that I got asked on a podcast I was a guest on recently. And uh, he was asking me how I personally, you know, uh, handle my work-life balance. And um, my situation is very unique. My wife was diagnosed with a chronic illness called Addison's disease, uh, Stills disease, POTS, a few different others to name. Um, you know, she's essentially bedridden um, or has been bedridden. She's starting to make some progress, but um, I have, you know, that, uh, she, you know, I've had to take her to the hospital, to the ER plenty of times during the month. Um, you know, really just trying to work on her health right now. So it's been a lot of pressure on my shoulders to really step up for the family, to be there when I need, when I need to be there for her, to take her into the ER. Um, you know, I have a son that just turned four years old as well to take care of him. Um, and so yeah, there's a, there's a lot that, that's very unique about my situation than somebody else um, in a normal situation, quote unquote. And when I started this business in the very beginning, um, it's, it was very different. You literally can't do anything else. When you're first starting out your business, you need to be so obsessed with it and getting sales through the door because you know branding, long-term vision is very important, but it's not what's gonna pay your bills in the beginning. You just need to focus on getting sales. Sales is king. Um, and in the very beginning, you need to figure out how to get sales. And you know, in my industry, it's e-commerce. You could be in a lead-based industry. Um, you know, doing coaching or, or what have you. But for myself, e-commerce, um, the, the way that we approached that was through social media, you know, Instagram, Facebook, um, specifically for us. I just wanna be very crystal clear about this. There is no such thing as a perfect work-life balance. There will never be. You have to figure out what works for you. You know, if you're not spending enough time with your family and it's really hurting your relationships, then yeah, maybe ease back on the business and go spend some more time with your family. But if you are financially stressed, you don't have sales coming in the door, um, but everything else in your life is good, friendships and relationships, then you, you need to spend time on your business. Otherwise, just you might as well be an employee and go work, you know, nine to five job where you have, you know, a clear uh, paycheck, you know, clock in, clock out, salary position, whatever. Um, but this life of entrepreneurs, there is no clock. And if you're looking at a clock and you're an entrepreneur, let's just say um, you're not gonna make it, you know, long-term in my opinion. And that may offend some of you out there, but that's the truth of the reality. There is no clock when you're an entrepreneur, um, especially when you're in the beginning stages and you're building. You know, something that helped me understand, you know, in the beginning stages was, you know, when you're not a full-time entrepreneur, like there's other people out there that are working, you know, 40, 50, 60 hour weeks on their business while I'm at my nine to five job putting in 40 hours a week for somebody else. So when I get home, and I only have two to three hours to build it, I need to be extremely focused and I, I need to know what I'm doing. Otherwise, you're gonna fall behind. Another way to think about this is, you don't even have a ticket to the arena yet. In order to get a ticket to the arena, you need to become a full-time entrepreneur. Um, so, and the only way to do that is to quit your job. So you need to be able to pay your bills to sustain yourself. And of course, you can take the leap of faith, quit your job but you, you need to have money to be able to pay your bills. Or if you're someone like me, where you can't control you know, your job, where I got fired from my job, I was literally thrown out to the wolves. I had to survive, it was sink or swim. And um, if you don't know my story, you know, I, my, my wife and I went eight months behind on our mortgage, uh, we're on food stamps, um, literally living out of my parents' you know, freezer for food. Uh, we were broke, man, broke, almost foreclosed on our property, had a sheriff come to my doorstep, give me papers where, you know, we had 30 days to literally leave. And so going through that struggle, 
I didn't have money to pay my bills, but I made it work and we were able to, um, you know, have Black Friday sale blow up for us in 2019, which was the whole turning point of Three Nails. And uh, we were able to keep the house and everything. And I'm not gonna go on my story. If you wanna listen to my story, I have a link in the description below. Um, it's, uh, it's a longer video, but my whole story on how I built Three Nails, and you can watch that to learn more. There was no perfect work-life balance, man. Like, I was working my nine to five job, and I was coming home, and every single night I was packaging up orders. Um, on the days that I did get orders. And if I didn't get orders that day, I was posting on social media every single day. Um, you know, something for me too, I would, I would find, um, you know, people that were in the community that I was looking for, right? You know, different uh, you know, Christian athletes, different pages, literally scrolling through my phone and, you know, liking their photos, commenting, you know, from my Three Nails account, just trying to connect and trying to make it as genuine as possible. And that was one thing that I've learned from Gary Vee is like, you know, how serious are you about this grind? And that was a grind, man. Um, especially back in those days, it was uh, appropriate to follow and unfollow a bunch of people. Nowadays, you can't get away with that. People get upset. Um, but yeah, I would go through and I would follow you know, thousands of people every day and then unfollow them the next day and just keep repeating this over and over and over just so I could get the word and the brand out. Um, and you know, looking back at it, I would probably never do that again. The follow and unfollow, it's just, I think it's, it's, it's not a good approach. <laughs> but at that time I was desperate. I was just desperate, man. I was so hungry to do whatever it took uh, to get the name of Three Nails out there. And so um, you need to sacrifice. You need to sacrifice, man. You gotta discipline yourself. You can't be hanging out with the boys. You know me, I'm a huge advocate on Stop watching Netflix, stop playing video games, you know, unless you're happy with where you're at. If you're a full-time entrepreneur and you're making money and, and you know, things are going great in your life, then sure, you know, play some video games here and there. If it helps you de-stress, you know, watch Netflix, you know, with the wifey, um, you know, spend time with your family and those relationships that are important. But if you're broke like I was and you're sick of it, you're sick of being where you're at in life, you need to change. And the only way to do that is to, get unstuck with where you're at. You can't repeat the cycle with what you're doing in your life. You have to change, you have to take massive action and completely change your life around. And um, the way to do that is focus. Um, and that's another video that I'll make in a future date is talking about focus. Um, but just to quickly touch on that, you know, the super successful people in this life, the successful entrepreneurs, um, if you listen to a lot of the stories, the, the common denominator is focus, um, discipline, but um, yeah, it's mainly that focus piece of not being distracted by your phone, not being distracted by you know um, anything that could divert your focus from the main task. Just kind of fast forward into where I'm at now, um, you know, being in the 5,000 square foot warehouse, you know, having a team of three full-time employees, my balance is way different. I am in a much better place now and I don't and I say better with quotes because it's it's not like it's easier but my my work-life balance like I'm not in survival mode like I was like I mean I I needed money to pay my my mortgage I needed money to pay my bills like there was no like work-life balance especially with my wife's health taking care of my son um, you know, my mom was living with us for a few months to, to help me out with my son too and just trying to reprieve her. There is no balance. It was just survival mode. And now in life, it's not survival mode. It's, um, you know, really trying to make progress and just keep, you know, progressing forward. I just have a lot more peace in my life now, for lack of a better term. Um, just, I'm not underneath the gun financially, uh, you know, financially stressed like I once was. Um, you know, I have... I'm able to focus on my relationships a lot more now because money is a tool and it's made that a lot easier. You know, when sales are doing well um, and bills are paid, there is definitely a level of just stress that, you know, that weight just gets taken off your shoulders. Um, however, I do wanna say that regardless if you're going through a storm or not through a storm, you know, you have to, care, to cast your cares on God, you know, trust in Him. Um, but it doesn't make it easier when, you know, like myself, I was trusting God that everything was going to work out. However, you know, 
my bills are stacking up. And you, have, you have to make action. So my point is, is you can't just pray and be like, all right, God's going to take care of this and just do nothing. Like, pray and then go take massive action and do something about it. And then God will take care of the things that you, that you can't control. And then the things that you can control, the hard work, the focus, those things are going to compound over time. And, um, you know, that's where uh, the results are going to be driven from. So um, where I'm at now, my work-life balance is so much different, but there's still like times where, um, you know, I'm, I'm working really late hours, I'm working on the weekends. Um, it just depends on what's going on. And there's some days where um, I get done with my main project for the week or whatever, you know, say on Friday and we can leave early and I'll take the team out for uh, appetizers or dinner or whatever and able to enjoy life that way because you do need to enjoy life it can't just all be about work grind 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 some people live that way and that's perfectly okay and that's like the thing is it's not a one-size-fits-all you have to figure out what works for you and what you're happy with and um, you know right now in life I feel like I have a really good work-life balance um, it's not perfect by any means though and still to this day I'm not on a clock right I do not come to work and then look at the clock and be like, all right, you know, is it time to leave it? Like, I work until it gets finished. I only make, you know, usually three tasks for that day. Some days I only have one thing to do, like one big project that I'm working on. Again, it goes back to that focus. And so um, that's something I'm gonna talk about in a future video, like I said, but you really need to just understand that there will never be such a thing as perfect work-life balance. Figure out what works for you. Um, he obviously, you know, you got to be open with your spouse, you know, it, it, unless you're single then you really do have a lot of freedom, but especially, you know, someone like myself being married, you have to, um, you know, you have to be very open, transparent with your spouse on, you know, the goal and they have to be very supportive of it. And my wife, you know, she's very supportive of my dream, my vision with three nails and she understands, you know, that, you know, not to expect me at five o'clock every single day for supper. Um, and again, my situation is very unique where my wife has been dealing with chronic illness and um, you know, there's days where she can't even get out of bed the whole day. And you know, once I'm done with work, I gotta come home and then take care of my son and feed him dinner and we're you know, by ourselves. My wife is you know, recovering upstairs. Um, so it's been very difficult for me you know, to figure out work-life balance with everything that's been thrown at me. But I would just say that I'm trusting God and that's given me a lot of peace no matter what. If my wife is in the hospital or at home sick or if she's doing better and she's able to come downstairs and eat dinner with my son Daxon and I, like regardless, we're going to make it work and you know, it's that positive mindset and optimism that keeps me driven, you know, that things are going to work out for the greater good at the end of the day. And so um, I just want to wrap up this video by saying Again, there's not a one-size-fits-all, guys. Figure out what works best for you. However, in the very beginning, <laughs> if you're trying to prioritize your relationships um, over building a business, chances are you're probably not gonna succeed. In the very beginning, the first year or two, like myself, I didn't pay myself a dime for the first two years of three nails. You are going to have to sacrifice your relationships and your time with friends and family those first couple years. I'm not saying months, I'm saying years. I mean, go to the, the big holiday events, put the things on the weekends, you know, going boating, going, you know, having a boys night at the cabin or whatever, like, man, you're going to have to turn those down until you get to a point where you're able to, um, you know, have a little bit more freedom, you know, like myself now, like you're able to hire employees and delegate those tasks that used to take you a lot, like customer service for me, I was able to delegate that to Justin in the very beginning. Uh, marketing now, I you know just hired Caitlin, my marketing manager, um, just this past October, and she's been phenomenal. You know, doing all of her email marketing, text marketing, social media posting, everything. She's taken that stress off of my my plate, and uh, has really helped scale my business now. And so that's kind of where you you get to is you do everything in the beginning. You literally sacrifice everything. And then later on, as you make more money and you start to scale your company, you're able to delegate those tasks by hiring new employees. And um, but you're still a part of everything. You still are the person that um, you know because you have the vision. You need to make sure that things are approved and it's aligned with your vision. And you have to be crystal clear with your employees of those expectations right away. Otherwise, if you just give everybody free reigns, I mean, 
everyone doesn't have the vision that you do. You need to make sure that everybody's aligned on that one vision. But um, again, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, guys. As always, if you're new here, my name is Derek. I'm a Kingdom Entrepreneur. I'm the founder and CEO of Three Nails. Hit that red box down below. Subscribe and join the fam today. Uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Love y'all. God bless. See you in the next video. Peace.